Atlanta once had a lively downtown area with an extensive trolley network. With the rise of the personal automobile, there was an exodus from the city center. The trolley network shut down, and massive interstates were built to accommodate commuters. Atlanta is one of the worst cities in the country when it comes to commute time. Over half of the downtown land area is devoted to streets and parking. But Atlanta is not without alternatives to driving. All these people are sitting in traffic when they could be riding a train home from work. So why isn't anyone using public transportation? It's not a very good system at all. It doesn't even go to Turner Field. It doesn't go to Emory University. It doesn't go to so many places that it should. It's only good for the airport. It's, it's unfortunately a useless system, in my opinion, unless you live downtown. I've been on the public transportation probably twice in 10 years. I don't use the bus system. All, our business tends to take us places where the buses aren't going. So. I do think it's dirty and it could be cleaned up a little bit. Uh, normal every day, you don't use it because it doesn't go hardly anywhere you want to go. And it's not convenient to where I live. It takes too long. Very reliable and it's very dirty. But the train's kind of lacking, man. You know, you go to DC, you can think train system is way better. So I usually use it just to get to the airport. Well, it takes as long to travel to the MARTA station, get on the train, and travel in as it does just to travel where we're going. But I don't really use it that often because I have a car. <laughs> Public transportation is not reliable. To help us answer our question, we asked Dr. Usselman, an HTS professor at Georgia Tech. If you think about cities in the United States, there's really two types of cities. There's the automobile-dominated cities and there's the public transit cities. Almost all the public transit cities were cities that started out as walking cities. They had large pockets, large cores that were, were very densely settled and were walking course when the subways were built in, in New York and Boston and so on. Those cities developed transportation, public transportation, largely to supplement walking. Right? And the massive investment in those cities in doing that was right at the turn of the 20th century. Right? And then the second round of building was in the 70s, but their subways were built in places that were basically already shaped by the automobile. So where you get people to use public transit is where on one end or the other they have a lot of options that they can get to very easily okay. by foot without a vehicle. Atlanta's challenge, I think, its central challenge has been that both the downtown is not dense enough, it's spread out, and then where people live is spread out. So on, when you need on two ends to have mobility of the internal combustion engine, either a bus or a car. Yeah. People just choose to have their own car. It seems that Marta goes nowhere anyone really wants to go. We hit up the library for more information and came across some of the original plans for the system. Looking at these maps, Marta was originally planned to be a totally different kind of network. What happened that such drastic cuts were made in the original plan? In many wealthier communities, there's a lack of enthusiasm and even outright resistance to expansion of the MARTA network in their neighborhoods. Money is also an issue. MARTA lacks the funds to upgrade, repair, and expand their network. However, there are hopes that in the future, Atlanta can grow into a city no longer strangled by traffic. Well, this, the market, to get people to use it, it's the building of these high-rises in, in Midtown. That's the single biggest force because it's going to create a group of potential riders who are living in a congested area where there's a richness in their own world that they, they don't need a car on a daily basis on the, the part where they're living. There are currently plans for a light rail network to be built around the city perimeter and along Marietta Boulevard. There may still be a bright future for transportation in Atlanta, but for now we have to sit in traffic.